Steps of Personal Support Worker Pathway to Permanent Residence in Canada. The Pathway to Permanent Residence in Canada for Personal Support Workers or PSWs can be a rewarding journey for those seeking to build a life in this diverse and welcoming country. Canada offers several immigration programs that cater to skilled workers including PSWs or personal support workers who play a crucial role in the health sector. Here are the steps along the PSW pathway to permanent residence in Canada. Number 1. Eligibility Assessment Before beginning the immigration process, it is essential to assess your eligibility to ensure that you meet the basic requirements such as age, education, language, proficiency, and work experience. Many immigration programs such as the Express Entry System and Provincial Nominee Programs PNPs have specific criteria that you must meet. 2. Education and training to work as a PSW in Canada. You typically need to have relevant education and training and many provinces and territories require PSWs to complete a recognized PSW program which can be a diploma or certificate course. Make sure your credentials are recognized in Canada. Number three, gain work experience. To qualify for immigration programs, you need to have work experience in your field. PSWs can accumulate this experience by working in healthcare setting like nursing homes, hospitals, or in-home care. The specific amount of experience required can vary depending on the immigration program and of course for language proficiency languages. It's crucial for immigration PSWs must prove their proficiency in English and or French by taking language tests like IELTS for English or TF for French. manage immigration applications, PSWs can enter the express entry pool if they meet the eligibility criteria and receive an invitation to apply is under comprehensive ranking system. CRS score having Canadian work experience can significantly boost your CRA score Number 6. Provincial Nominee Program or PNPs Many provincial and territories in Canada have their own immigration programs, including streams for healthcare workers like PSWs. Some PNPs offer easier pathways to permanent residence for PSWs, so it is essential to research and apply to the program that suits your situation. Number 7. Apply for permanent residence. Once you receive an ITE or invitation to apply or get nominated through a PNP stream, you can apply for permanent residence. You will need to submit all required documents including proof of education, work experience, language proficiency, and other supporting documents. Pay close attention to the deadlines and guidelines provided by the immigration authorities. And number eight, medical and security clearance. All applicants for permanent residence must undergo medical examinations and provide police clearance certificates to ensure they are admissible to Canada. Number nine, interview and biometrics. Depending on your application, you may need to attend an interview or provide biometrics, fingerprints, and photos as part of the security clearance process. Number 10. Receive confirmation of permanent residence or COPR. If your application is approved, you will receive 
a COPR, which is your official confirmation of permanent residence in Canada. Number 12, permanent resident card, PR card for your arrival in Canada. You will need to apply for a PR card which is an official proof of your permanent resident status. The pathway to permanent residence in Canada for personal support workers may vary based on individual circumstances and the provincial requirements and changes in immigration policies. It is essential to stay updated on the latest immigration regulation and seek guidance from an immigration expert or legal professionals to navigate the process successfully. So those are the steps of personal support worker pathway to permanent residence in Canada. This is Norlin Oligosarma, your licensed immigration consultant. Don't forget to share subscribe and like my video. Have a great day.